This is Murphy Channel Live. I'm here on MurphyChannel.com. This edition of Roofing Channel Live is brought to you in part by the National Roof Group. Sign up for your free membership at nrgmembers.com. To participate in our interactive chat, make sure you're watching this program from live.roofingchannel.com. Hey guys, Chris Rayburn here for RoofingChannel.com. I got this question by uh, email and it was asking what kind of digital camera I should buy as a roofing contractor. Well, I've gone through lots. Uh, I, was, I was actually extremely impressed with several and I will actually show you what I own now also. Um, just in case you don't know this about me, you're going to find this out pretty quickly. Uh, I'm kind of a, um, a technology geek, I guess you would say. Uh, in that I like pretty much anything that has to do with technology. Uh, I don't always buy the latest and the greatest, uh, but within budget constraints, I, I, I like to have the best of the best. Now, about five years ago, maybe four or five years ago, I bought this Canon PowerShot A10. Now, I was extremely impressed with this camera. Uh, it's always taken really good pictures. has an LCD screen on the back, which you can now see as a zoom as you can see the lens comes out it's always taken very good pictures for what it is uh, but in fact this one is a 1.3 megapixel camera and really not suitable for uh, you know print documents and things like that so I've since given this one to my wife in the meantime I bought a Nikon D70 which was an utterly fantastic camera but uh, huge it was bulky had the great big lens that came off the front of it and wasn't really practical for taking up on roofs. Now I did it a couple of different times and quickly decided that that was not going to be the camera for me in, in that scenario. Took some great pictures of my daughter um, and have since sold the thing. What I bought after that was the, again, Canon PowerShot. This one is the A640. Now this camera, whereas the other one is 1.3 megapixels, this one is 10 and so it's literally close to 10 times the camera that that one was. The detail in the pictures it takes are amazing. As you can see, it's got the zoom lens. It also has a flip-out LCD screen so that whenever I want to take a picture of myself, I can rotate it around and I can see myself in the picture, which is scary a little bit. Um, also, it will flip upside down. It's a much bigger screen than what is on this one. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but uh, the clarity is there as well. Now it has a lot of other functions. I tend to leave it on the automatic function and man, it just, it just takes really, really good pictures. I think this one cost me somewhere around $280, $290 um, and it, can, it comes with a little case that you can uh, you know, stick it in. I bought one that was extra padded because in the case of this camera, I had it uh, around my wrist one day as I got onto the ladder and it hit the ladder, it slipped off, fell to the concrete, still works, mind you, it's my wife's now. Uh, the other thing that I think is extremely important, and I'm going to get to this in another segment on how to shoot and produce a video for your company and uh, the tools that you would need to do that, but if you notice, it may be a very good idea to buy a combination video and uh, still frame camera. A lot of the newest camcorders are able to take uh, still frame pictures as well. Not only that, but this one, the Canon A640, which they're not a sponsor or anything, it's not why I'm saying their name over and over again, uh, but call me Canon. Um, that this will actually take video as well and it records the audio and it dumps it right into a Windows Media file. So when you offload it onto your computer, it plays in Windows Media, and the video is very, very nice. So we'll get into more along the lines of camcorders and um, how to produce your own videos later. Again, if you have any questions about a camera that you think you might want, I have a lot of information on those, contact me at live at roofingchannel.com. I'm Chris Rayburn, and we'll see you next time. <music>